Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the Bantamweight bout between um, Daniel Marcos versus Aori Queenling. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going high confidence Daniel Marcos to beat Aori Queenling. That's why Daniel Marcos is a much better talent. I feel like he's a better striker. I feel like he's a better grappler. But primarily, I feel like it'll be a striking matchup. Um, I feel like he's better keep his own feet. Probably would prefer to keep him on his feet. I think he's a, just a much slicker, much cleaner, much better striker. In reality, I feel like Ari Queenling, he's just a low-level zombie punching bag, really, as far as his style. Like, if you stand in front of him and you swing with him, like, maybe he, like, he'll be able to eat the shots better than you, and he'll just kind of break you down just by, you know, being a zombie. But he can stick and move and fight smart and don't just, like, cross over your own feet, you know, just stand in front of him and look like, you know, make dumb mistakes. That's when you lose them. But I didn't, I think, um... Dan Mark was a solid fighter. He could, he could, you know, fight technically, like fight smart, like be there in front of him if he needs to or wants to be there. Like I think he could go out and stop him in the first round, second, third round, like however he wants to do this. But also for like if he needs to like move and not just be a stationary target, he can do that. Like, so I feel like he could beat him anywhere and everywhere in this fight. Definitely as far as the striking goes. And I think he'll do that. I think he'll be a take full advantage of the free shots that Ari Queenling will present and I think he'll be the pick apart or the fight. You know, if you're going to allow yourself to be a punching bag, I think Daniel Marcos is going to fully take advantage of that. I think he, I think, um, yeah, Ari Queen is tough and all, but toughness don't last so long. Like, you getting hit with free shots. So, I think, I'm going to say um, late second round TKO for Daniel Marcos. It's really, again, taking full advantage of those free shots and that um zombie punching bag that will be there whenever he needs to punch it. So, in this one, I got Daniel Marcos via second round TKO.